So Hadera HBAR is working secretly with this project, or maybe this project has just run under the radar. We're going to be taking a look at exactly what this project is. We're also going to be taking a look at the Baxter ID and what came out with that furniture company. Of course, they are using Hadera's technology. And we will be looking at Saucer Swap, a few little updates that they have. And of course, the price action of Saucer and HBAR for today. So all I ask from you are two things, guys, which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. As I usually say, you can write down anything in the comment section that you want to say, whether or not you're having a good week. It is Tuesday so far, so we are starting the week and it has been pretty good in general. So let's get to it. You'll see over here coming in from HBAR Bull, we have this video talking about Wise Key and they are one of the projects that have basically flown under the radar when it comes to Hadera. Now we are gonna watch a bit of this video but before we actually get into that, I just want to show you this article that came out last year. So you'll see over here, it says that WiseKey has actually joined forces with the Hashgraph Association in order to offer their trusted NFT solutions via its Wise.art platform built on Hadera. And we will be taking a look at this platform and so you can actually see it too. So you'll see over here that the platform basically ensures, of course, authenticated and assigned version of an actual digital asset and it creates an irreversible link to the physical object, provides proof of ownership, which of course is important when it comes to the crypto space, and a set of contracts describing future use and monetization streams. And the NFT platform is secured by WiseKey's various security technologies, enabling the authentication of physical objects as well as digital assets in a safe end-to-end -end environment. And another thing that is very important in cryptocurrency, not only is it to do with authentication and a proof of ownership but we have anonymity a lot of people do like to stay anonymous when it comes to their trading so the platform allows trading of these nfts into WiseKey's own trust in coin cryptocurrency meaning that anyone that participates when it comes to the trading will be anonymous and then you won't be identified and of course this is at your own will if you choose to do so and while ensuring the necessary kyc processes to avoid unwanted activity on the marketplace. Built on Hadera, of course, Wise ID is a trusted identity service that enables access to the web and mobile applications with strong authentication techniques. In addition to that, the Wise ID supports online KYC onboarding, OTP and digital certificate login, and an innovative hands-free secure login based on QR codes, which we're seeing more of as of now, especially with these links actually becoming somewhat obsolete and actually being used less and less. A QR code is much better because you can just scan it and it goes straight to that ID. So this is essentially what we have. And you'll see over here, the platform for Wise R. I think I'll just reload the platform because I actually went on to it last night. So you'll see over here that we have Wise R. You've got all the items, you've got art, collectibles, contemporary digital jewelry music philanthropy and photography and of course you can see how much everything is going for so over here we currently have five hundred dollars which is in csbr we have five hundred dollars which is in eth and then we have a few others one is in matic of eight hundred dollars and we have nine thousand five hundred so you'll see the different types of artwork that we have but so far it seems pretty all right as a platform in general it is probably taking a bit longer to load because my Wi-Fi is not as good. And obviously you can see who it's owned by as well. That's the WiseArt platform. Now let's actually dive into the video coming in from WiseKey. Thank you very much. Pleasure. And thank you, Hedera, for the opportunity. So yes, I am the founder of WiseKey, a Swiss listed company on the NASDAQ, cybersecurity, uh, very focused on encryption. And I am also the founder of CLSQ, which is a semiconductor company also listed on the NASDAQ. So two Swiss companies all the way up to the NASDAQ, $400 million raise, companies that are growing very fast. So there, we're doing a lot of stuff, we're being all over Davos, but here what we're doing is two very interesting projects. One is uh, we launched the uh, CL coin yesterday in our event. So this is now with Hedera. So what is CL coin? It's an uh, inter-machine payment token. So Wiseki has uh, 19 satellites in orbit. So those are Pico satellites. Those satellites are operational now. We launched them with SpaceX. Those satellites are in orbit. Therefore, they detect 
the uh, sensor technology that we're putting everywhere in connected cars, EV, EV devices, we're putting that into containers. We just had a deal this morning with DB Wall here, the largest uh, container in the world, 70 million containers per year traffic. And uh, the satellite basically do track and trace technology to the sensor. So all the information from the sensor to the satellite is sent in real time. DB Wall can detect where the containers are, if, uh, if there has been some issue in the container, penetration, and so on. But before you pay that with fiat, so you have to do very cumber uh, technology in order to get paid or even to uh, pay the uh, interactions. Now we're doing with tokens. So we, with conversion with air, we are, we are we're in a pre-sale process now, which just started yesterday. Uh, but basically we are uh, launching a token, which is both a security and payment and utility token that will allow companies to uh, pay with those tokens they use of their machines. So we imagine a car that has to pay a, a parking, uh, imagine a EV plug into an electrical device into your car where you have to pay energy. Uh, the market of uh, tr the transitions between objects is endless. Uh, it is, uh... And if you actually noticed him earlier on in the speech, you would have heard him talk about SpaceX. And this is the most important thing. So, of course, he did actually start the speech off by thanking Hedera, and they do use Hedera's technology when it comes to the NFT platform, the Wise.art platform. So, this is important because, because WiseKey are in the business of satellites, and he said it was 19 satellites that they have done in the expansion. But also, they are currently working, I think, with SpaceX because they were working with the Falcon 9 rocket, and that is to do with these different missions that they currently have. So it goes to show that WiseKey already have some sort of relationship with SpaceX in general. Now, does it mean that Hedera has a relationship with SpaceX? Not really, because of course they're not direct. However, it is some sort of indirect relationship there that they could potentially have. Again, it doesn't mean that SpaceX will be using Hedera, but still, WiseKey are using Hedera. And that's pretty much all that matters because we could see some sort of developments when it goes forward. Now let's have a look at the price action for today. For Salsa Swap, we're currently trading at 10 cents. We are down by 5.53% on the one day chart. With the 24 hour volume, we're up by 134.8%. So volume is pretty high today. I mean, on the overall market, we are up by 7.51% for the volume and at 67.3 billion. And we are at 1.66 million in the volume. So if we have a look at where we're currently trading for today, we were just at 0.1036. On the seven day chart, you'll see at the start of the week, we were trading at 0.09363. And then we actually did take this dip to 0.09172. Now we were actually able to climb up in the later part of the week, all the way to roughly around about that 10 cent level, so 0.1075, just below 11 cents. That was pretty nice actually. And then on the one month chart, we are down by 29.76%, but still we just made that little recovery. You can see over here, we were stagnant when we took that dip and we fell from the 12 cent level to just under 10 cents. So we took that two cent dip. Now we're just coming up ever so slightly, but again, we did take that massive drop off from 0.1675. I mean, as long as source stays up and above the eight cent level, I still think it is pretty good price action in general for it. If you have a look at HBAR today, we are down by 3.3% and we're trading at 0.0889. Now on the one week chart, we are actually up by 15.5%. So don't let the one day put you off. You'll see that at the start of the week, we were trading at 0.0788. And then midweek, we did actually hit 0.0818. And then yesterday, we hit 0.0924. So we we're able to make roughly around about just under a two cent gain on the one week. For the one month chart, we are down by 17%. So we went from 12 cents on the 26th of March all the way to 0.0753. I've roughly taken a four two five cent hit ever since then and now we have climbed up a bit by roughly around about one cent if we were able to stay up and above the mid range of eight cents for had h bar that would be pretty good guys if you want daily hadera h bar and salsa swap news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well